we have a pretty big announcement from physicists in regards to CERN. And for months now, they've been talking about this blip that they discovered. They were talking about the potential of all kinds of things. Tapping into the fabric of space-time, a whole new concept of reality. They hinted at all these things that still could be possible. But all this talk came about after they discovered this blip in data. And that's the only way that they've put it. It was a bump in their data at an energy of 750 GeV. And that's giga electron volts. Now, what they're saying now is that it just so happened to be nothing. And we can go on and on about the secrets and the public kept in the dark and exactly what CERN is doing. And we've talked about the potential here for this tapping into other dimensions. Because what they're doing is working towards achieving just that. Now, people have talked about this being a portal. There's different facilities across the globe. There's one in, I believe, Illinois and in other places. Uh, we talked about it on the show, me and Casey, about the, the, the location, the layout, all kinds of different things connected to the places that we know in the public. And you have to think, if there was something that was just so super top secret, none of us would know about it. It would put CERN to shame, and it could be where they're really doing all the big-time research and they're 20 plus years ahead of everything they're telling us. You cannot forget that. That's a long time. That's a lot of technology and information that they keep from the public. So where they're at right now, they're doing big things in what looked to be potentially a big announcement coming in regards to the physics and the science connected to this. They're saying it was a statistical fluke. They're going to continue, though, because they say that there has to be more out there. They say that they're not losing hope because beyond the standard model of what they're all going off of, they're going to have to wait for the next bump, they say, in the data. And they know that the model is incomplete because it has nothing to say about dark energy or dark matter, which make up over 90% of the known universe. So something else has got to be out there. There's a whole lot more that they already know, like I said, that they're not telling us. But as far as all this data that people were expecting, or this big announcement, it looks like they're writing it off now, saying that it was a fluke. I will leave a link in the description box with more information. And also, make, sh make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live. It will be on End of the Stars channel tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern on Dabu 77, we're going to have a special podcast in regards to this new project we're going to get kicked off. So make sure to tune in. See you guys then. It's been Dabu 7.